Yo, what is going on, everybody? I'm Pastu, and this is part two of a three part series on Takeda V1 combos. If you haven't seen the first video, I highly recommend you go check it out. I'll have the link down in the description. Try to be as quick as possible on this video. One of the first things I want to get into it's another combo off of the Oi Jeff. Okay, so in the previous video, I had you learn this. Uh, in this video, you're going to be doing a slightly different variation of this. You're going to do the exact same inputs, except you're not going to release your blink strike. You're only going to half charge your light attack. You're going to do the same input, but you're going to release on a light attack. How you do this? Do a grapple, release your light, jump LMB into another jump LMB, hit your F. You get that combo. That's like the intermediate combo you can do for Takeda's. Uh, off not winning neutral. Uh, there is a way you can infinitely loop this. I'll try and show you now. So, do a grapple, RB, jump LMB, do it again, F them on the ground. Same thing. You can Okay. Now, you don't always want to do this, but it's something to know about. One more time, explaining the mechanics. You are going to sliding uppercut, grapple. You're going to be holding A and R and B to do your light attack. A and R and B, light, jump L and B, jump L and B. All you're doing at the end of that is adding your F and going for another sliding uppercut. Okay, so one last time. Drop your ult, throw your F, sliding uppercut, RB, jump LMB, jump LMB, This is the intermediate way to combo off of your F without winning neutral. It can be looped into an infinite, or you can just guarantee a lot of damage. Uh, getting into the combos, the main thing I wanted to show you for Katana is you're going to start doing sliding uppercuts. So for each part of this combo, you're going to loop it and you're going to do two sliding uppercuts into a grapple and you're going to hold that light attack the same way. So it, it would look something like this. Okay. So you would do one sliding uppercut, two sliding uppercuts, grapple in midair, half charge your RMB, hit your up, you do that infinitely until you have no more charges. When you run out of charges, after you grapple, you just hold into the blink strike. So one more time, you would hold it with your up, you do two sliding uppercuts, and grapple into there. Light attack, one, two, grapple midair, light attack, two, you have no more charges, so you finish it with the blink strike. Okay, so this same combo also applies for parries. So, me parry this bot real quick while my ult is activated. <laughs> okay, so you land a parry. Jump LMB, F. One, two, grapple them midair, light attack, F. Now they're in an infinite. This is the intermediate way to infinite on Takeda's V1 for Katana. Okay, moving on to Longsword. Uh. You're going to have to learn how to longsword infinite, which you don't know how after you uppercut. You're not pressing any directional keys. All you're doing for this is timing your grapple and your uppercut. So right now, grappling the ground, I time my uppercut. I grapple the ground, I time my uppercut. And I can juggle them for as long as I want, so long as the terrain is flat. So. If you learn how to do that consistently, you can now combo that with your V1. So, little left in the you just grab, uppercut, you grapple. You uppercut, you grapple. 
to go in there, I'll do it. Into your uh, I'm to make it a little bit simpler. You could uppercut, hit you your up. Do it twice. End it with a blue focus, hit your up, throw another blue focus. Sometimes you can get the follow up light attack. Uh, something I figured is probably worth mentioning on Gracewood. If you have your ult activated and you ever land a RMB charge on somebody, on the second hit of this slam, so right there, if you time your F, you can lift them in the air. Like that. You can get a follow up LMB RMB. You could also hit your F. You can follow up LMB LMB. <laughs> There's a lot you can do with Great Sword on Takeda. And any of those combos, like from just just from one F charge, will confirm a kill it, on gold armor if it's a blue Great Sword. Okay, getting into the last two things for this video, it's going to be parry combos on Great Sword and Long Sword it, while your ult is activated. <laughs> <laughs> and then a parry, follow up, you jump, you use your F, you get an RMB charge on Greatsword. That's almost gonna kill anybody if you have a blue Greatsword. You got Longsword, you land your parry, you cancel out of the first hit of the counter into a sliding uppercut. You can go into your F, and you can extend the combo this way as well. I'll show you one more time. Land a parry, cancel into a sliding uppercut, hit your up, you get a follow up. Alright, I think I'm gonna try to keep this video shorter than the last one, and just keep this as the intermediate guide, and then we'll get into the more advanced combos tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.